Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Mal and I make glitter tumbler tutorials here on YouTube every single week. Today's video is inspired by the decal we're going to put on the tumbler. When I was shopping around for my fashion girl images, as I do frequently, I found this image of a girl. She's holding a camera, taking a picture. She looks cozy in her sweater. And I just fell in love with the image right away. And I was like, I got to make a tumbler using this. So she's going to be our main design element. And I'm going to kind of build the tumbler design around this image. So I hope that you enjoy it. I hope it's inspiring for you. I really love how it turned out. I might have to keep this one for myself. We'll see. <laughs> if you do enjoy the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button too so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new Tumblr tutorials every Tuesday and Saturday. As always, I'll have everything I'm using in this video linked down below in the description box. So if you want to know where I'm getting anything I'm using in this video, be sure to check that out and all of the information will be down there for you. I'll also have links to all of my social media pages. So my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Pinterest, all of that good stuff is linked down there as well. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you guys like the video. Let's go. <laughs> We're going to get started with a powder coated white 20 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. And we're going to use a few different sheets of vinyl as the background element for our design. So the first sheet is from Craft Haven, it's in the color papaya. And then we're going to use this kind of grungy textured vinyl from Banff Custom Creations. And then finally, we're going to use this transparent glitter vinyl, which is also from Craft Haven, and this is in the color rosy. So I'm going to start with my cup by measuring the length of it. So 20 ounce skinny straights from Craft Haven are eight inches tall. And just so you can see kind of how I break the sections down of the cup, I'm gonna mark off every inch with the exception of the middle section, which is what I'm gonna leave. Um, I want the middle section to be two inches wide essentially. So I'm marking every inch just so you guys can kind of visualize and see how I'm breaking it down. We're not gonna do every inch on this tumbler. I just wanted to show you. So taking some blue painter's tape, I'm gonna tape off that middle two inch section that we just laid out, cause that's not gonna be covered with the first set of vinyl we're gonna use. So for the top and bottom sections, I'm going to use this grungy textured vinyl from Banff. And I'm going to do, you guys have seen me do this before, I did it in my lemon tumbler tutorial. And I'm going to basically just mark off each section to trim the vinyl down to fit both that top and bottom portion. So I'm gonna use my little paper trimmer tool here and just cut where I marked it off. Now I'm going to use a tool I get asked about every single day. This is the ultimate tumbler making tool from Cami Page Boutique. My friend Brooke and her husband 3D print these and let me tell you, this tool in particular has changed the game for me when I make my cups. So I just put my cup in there, as you saw, use either a pencil or a Sharpie or something to mark a straight line on the cup. And then I use that to help me line up the vinyl, the edge of the vinyl, and that ensures that I get the vinyl placed on my cup straight and that all of my edges and everything will line up the right way. So I did that on the top. I'm gonna to use the felt edge of my vinyl scraping tool here to smooth the vinyl onto my cup. This makes it so easy to get your vinyl on without any bubbles or anything. And yeah, so once I get to the edge where my seams are gonna meet up, I'll just trim off all of the excess using my craft knife and then I'll repeat the exact same process down at the bottom of the cup. Now that I have the vinyl placed on the bottom of the cup, I'm going to use my cup edging tool, which is also from Cami Page Boutique, to trim off all of this excess vinyl down at the bottom. I didn't have enough excess to like pull the vinyl down under the rim how I usually would. So I'm just gonna use this cup edging tool and it really gives you that like perfect finish. If you position it right on the tool, if you position the blade the right way, it'll cut right at the bottom edge and give you that like perfect 
finish. So I just ran my cup along there, removed all the excess and look at that, perfect. So now I'm going to remove all of this tape in the middle and then I'm gonna go into my first coat of epoxy. So in this coat of epoxy, I mixed a little tiny bit of bright from Peachy Olive Glitters into the epoxy and I'm using about 15 to 20 milliliters here. Just make sure you don't add too much glitter um, cause that will kind of alter the colors and stuff in your design. So just a little bit, just wanna add a little tiny bit of background sparkle to this. So once that coat is all cured, I'm ready to move on to my next set of design elements. So I cut out a few stripes with those two sheets of vinyl. And basically what I did was create a two inch wide strip in silhouette. And then I made another stripe with the glitter that's gonna go in the middle. So then I created a little stencil here to make sure that I can get that glitter piece in the middle of this two inch section. So I'm gonna take that stencil piece first and lay it down against that bottom edge of the pattern vinyl that we have. And I'm gonna use that as a guide for where to place this strip of glitter vinyl that I cut out. I cut this strip at uh, three quarters of an inch wide so that it would lay right in the middle of that two inch section. Of course, you can eyeball this, but I wanted to measure it and make sure that I got it exactly in the middle so that everything was even. So I'm going to place this transparent vinyl down on my cup, making sure that all of my seams line up in the same place. So I just found where the seams were for my pattern vinyl and started my glitter piece application right there. And I'm just gonna smooth this onto the cup, keeping the backing away, mostly just moving the cup, keeping the vinyl steady to make sure that everything stays straight and lines up properly. Next, I'm going to add my striping using the vinyl in the color papaya. I cut these stripes out at 0.15 inches wide, and I'm going to lay those on either side of the pattern vinyl edges, and I'm just lining them up right under that edge of the vinyl. So I'm placing them fully on the white section right above where the pattern vinyl ends on either side, just like that. So once those are on, I'm going to go into another coat of epoxy. This coat is about 15 milliliters. I just want my cup to be smooth so that when I go in to apply my main decals, I don't have any bumps or ridges or anything. So you might need to add two coats over your vinyl work. I've got two kind of main decals for this cup. The first one is of course a little fashion girl. She's got a camera and I felt like that went perfectly with the theme of the tumbler. We've got the camera and then we've got our other decal that says stay focused. So I cut her out of printable vinyl and then used my print and cut to cut her out using my silhouette. And I made her really large because I wanted her to be like the main focal point of this tumbler. And I'm gonna lay her down right over all of our vinyl seams to cover those up and hide them. And I think I made her six and a half inches tall. So she takes up almost the entire length of the tumbler. So I'm gonna smooth her down on to the cup, get rid of any of those excess pieces that didn't I didn't take care of before I pulled her off. And then on the direct opposite side of where she is, I'm going to apply our vinyl decal that says, stay focused. I created this SVG and it is available in my digital shop on Etsy. I will have it linked down below. So for the offset, I cut it out of rose chrome vinyl from rose gold chrome vinyl from Tech Rock Craft, and I'm going to apply that to the tumbler first. So I'm just gonna place it kind of like right in the middle of all of our stripe work going on here. I didn't measure this, I just eyeballed this part and hoped that it was in the right place. So right on top of this, I'm going to place the main decal, which I cut out of it, this really, really pretty champagne uh, metallic matte vinyl, also from Tech Wrap Craft. I'll have both of those linked down below in the description box, along with a discount code for you to use as well. After all of my decals have been placed, I'm gonna go in and add another coat of epoxy to my tumbler. I did give this a good coat of matte clear spray from Rust-Oleum just to help prevent any bubbles on the printable vinyl or anything like that. And after this coat is cured, I'm gonna go in and add my logo to the bottom of my cup. So I put a little dot of UV resin 
onto that little circle at the bottom of the cup. Added my acrylic logo tag. These are from Mizzy's Doodles. Cured that for two minutes and then I went in with another thin coat of the UV resin and just did that on the entire bottom of the cup. And then I added one final coat of my regular epoxy to finish this tumbler off. So that's it for this tutorial, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I love how this large fashion girl image came out. I know I've been so obsessed with them lately, but they just make me happy and I really love the artwork and putting them on a cup. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already, and I will see you in my next video. As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. You are the absolute best. And okay, that's it. Love you. Bye. <laughs>